This is the Valles Caldera, a 13.7 mile diameter volcanic collapse feature that formed after a massive and violent volcanic eruption 1.25 million years ago. So much magma evacuated from the mag magma chamber during eruption that the roof of the chamber collapsed, forming this wide depression known as a volcanic caldera. The volume erupted during this caldera forming event is estimated at 440 cubic kilometers of material or 273 cubic miles, which is 440 times the volume of the May 18, 1980 eruption of Mount St. Helens. The Valles Caldera is dormant, but there are still geologically active volcanic features such as hot springs and fumaroles present. Fumaroles are places where magmatic gases and steam escape to the surface along fractures and fault from the hot and slowly crystallizing magma chamber down below. The magma chamber uh, for the Valles Caldera is between 5 and 15 kilometers deep or 3.1 to 9.3 miles deep. We will visit some of these active features in today's video. To get to the location, take New Mexico Highway 4 west from White Rock, New Mexico. You will be driving along the south rim of the Valles Caldera with spectacular views of the Valle Grande, the Obsidian Glass Domes, and Redondo Peak, the resurgent dome in the central part of the caldera. When you get to mile marker 27, turn right on Sulphur Creek Road, also known as Forest Service Road 105. You will drive to the end of this road about two miles where you will stop and park at the locked gate. There is a short walk about one third of a mile along the road past the gate to get to the Sulphur Springs area. It's a little hot spring here. Beautiful mineralization happening around this area. And little hot springs bubbling up. The smell of sulfur is quite strong. And the alteration is pretty significant. It's a fantastic little area. The water here is pretty warm, maybe 120 degrees. It's coming out of the ground with the gas. And there he is, just full of these little bubbling seeps. And lots of clay. The tuff chemically alters to clay quite easily in this environment. So it can be kind of deep. Better watch your steps and you don't get stuck in it. It's really interesting. There's little spiders everywhere out here. I don't know if I'm catching any of them. <laughs> this mound that I'm standing on is covered in little spiders running, running around. And not expected. Two for one on this rock. I don't know what's with the spiders around here, but there sure are a lot of them. Must be good hunting or something. So this is magmatic gas escaping from the magma body that's crystallizing some kilometers below the volcano. 
or the caldera rather, it's not a volcano really anymore. Um, it's just a really cool spot and it tells you that the Valles Caldera is still active. It's not erupting, but it still has activity. There's still a degassing magma chamber down below. This funeral is hot. I'm trying to zoom in on the tiny little delicate sulfur crystals that are forming like a little crystal cave around the edges where the gas is coming out. It's a really cool spot, but there's no water in this fumarole, so there's no bubbling. It's not super obvious. The steam is not thick. It's still really awesome fumarole that has water in it so you can see the gas bubbling up. The water is not boiling. It's just the gas is effervescing through it so that's why it's bubbling. Another bubbler, a little spring. Little bubbler, little spider. Hello. <laughs> this place trips me out. Spiders everywhere. Fumaroles and spiders. I kind of love it. I hear some hissing. And then a fumarole. And up on top of this mound, it looks like there's a big funeral. I can see a lot of steam coming out. I'll get up there and check. Another <laughs> funeral just steamed up my camera. Yeah, it's hot. It's really cool. I see the steam rising above it. So this is a lake, a little pond. You can see the gas bubbling up in the middle. Try to zoom in on that. This is kind of a good view. You can see all the little gas seeps bubbling up through the water. Everywhere where there's like a little disturbance. These are all the little gas seeps. And then the big ones are back there. Let's try to zoom in. <laughs> wow. So this is what tuff does when it gets chemically altered, it turns to clay. Bentonite, probably. It's really cool. It's a really neat spot. It's really neat how the clay is building up around the exit holes, making these really interesting and funny kind of formations. I like this one that's just periodically bubbling up. <laughs> so cool. Okay, this is a volcano nerd's paradise that smells like sulfur really strong. So, these are little fumaroles, but there's no water in them, so they're not bubbling anymore. They dried up. You can see that it used to be a little mud pot, but you can hear the hissing of the gas that's still coming out.
So it's up this hill right here and back up there where the mud pots and fumaroles are and the hot springs back up there when you come up the road here from the parking area. What a beautiful place. hope that you enjoyed this video. If you do decide to go out to the Sulphur Springs area, please be respectful of the fact that the road you drive through, 105, passes through private property. Um, do not disturb any of the features that are out there. Be respectful and please enjoy yourselves. If you do end up going, please leave me a message below and tell me what you thought. Thanks for watching.